I saw something peeking out there. Come on, girl. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, big girl. I saw something peeking out there. She's definitely laboring differently than Coco did. Coco did everything standing and she was in total and complete shock when her babies were born. I'm really hoping and praying that this mama will do better. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the homestead. So, um, over the past week, we've been dealing with mama Coco being um, not so good of a mother. Uh, she basically kind of abandoned ship. She didn't want anything to do with the babies. Um, so we were bottle feeding. And yes, it's dark in here. Anyway, so we went to bottle feeding. Um, now that the babies are well established, we're kind of on the milk stand. We let the buckling nurse from her while we bottle feed the baby. Um, the baby girl. And anyway, right now, we came home tonight um, around 9. Uh, we were out at some family houses. We were celebrating some birthdays together. And Millie had some mucus coming out. So that usually means, once the mucus is coming, that usually means that labor is it's well on its way. So... Hopefully, I will catch that for you guys tonight and share that with you guys. Uh, right now, I am filling some water. I will bring some fresh water out for the goats. And um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. What we're really hoping for this time is that Mama does well, that she does good and cares for her babies. Really thankful for tonight's weather and I'm praying that it happens tonight, that I'm not wrong this time and that uh, we can have a good mama so that I'm not so stressed over taking care of these babies. It's always so nice when you have a good mom. I've not had an experience with a bad mother goat yet. Coco was my first one and just because she was a bad mom this first time doesn't mean that it will always be that way but this time it is <laughs> and it's a little bit stressful i was prepared for this so yeah hopefully this time millie is going to be a good mom and of course it's happening at night and i won't really get much sleep but it's okay i'm gonna hopefully not miss it. But I don't really want to sit in the barn by myself the whole time. The whole everybody else is sleeping. Uh, there's been some headaches and things going on, so we're just gonna let everyone snooze. Hello. And this is Millie's second time having babies. Her first year she had one really big doling and she did it all on her own. She did really well. She did not have any issues birthing and um, she cared for her great. Uh, her second year, which was last year, 2022, she did not have any babies. She miscarried. It looks like she's pushing. Yeah, she's laying on her side. She's pushing. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Her water 
is broken. I'm just going to make sure I got my gloves on. Ready, so that just in case she needs help. She didn't need help the first time really praying. She doesn't need help the next time or this time. We have a few nosy neighbors here. Mainly just her and her babies that are next door. Hey, big girl. You want some comfort? Yeah. You hurt? This isn't like her. She doesn't ever just come to you and cuddle for, come for scratches. Keeps changing position. We have another nosy neighbor over here. So it's been about 20 minutes or so since Millie's water broke. Um, she's been pushing, not like a consistent steady push, but her water did break in at around 30, 35 minutes-ish after her water broke or has been broken. I will go in and feel if I feel some hooves because usually about 30 minutes or so after the water breaks that's when you want to start to see the feet coming the the front hooves coming out and i just want to make sure that um the baby is in a good position um if the back feet are coming out first i may need to assist but a lot of times a breech baby can come out oh i think i see a head i saw something peeking out there come on girl you can do it. You 
can do it. Come on, big girl. I saw something peeking out there. She's definitely laboring differently than Coco did. Coco did everything standing and she was in total and complete shock when her babies were born. I'm really hoping and praying that this mama will do better. You can do it, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lord, please be with me. Help this. It's, it's a butt. It's not a... There's no hooves. You can do it, girl. Come on. It's almost there, almost there. Oh, there's come on. Where's the feet? Do I see feet? Okay, I see a hoof and it's backwards. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, girl. Come on. Come on. Okay, there's another hoof. Oh, that's the other. Okay. Come on. Okay, come on. It's a foot. It's backwards. It's backwards. Oh, great. Okay, come on. Come on, girl. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Here, I was just waiting for Millie to have another contraction and push again before I was going to start pulling on that hoof. If you ever have to intervene, it's always important that you pull down, not up, and that you only pull while the mom is pushing so that you don't injure the mom or the baby. Come on. I know, girl. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I know. Oh, there's the other foot. There's the other foot. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. You can do this. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, girl. Come on. Come on. Okay, so I didn't get this little one on video. I don't know if you guys I'll see later when I look through my recordings, but this is a little buckling. He is beautiful. He is like a golden brown with a little white belt. He's beautiful. And this is a little doling and he was breech. He was backwards. She had one hoof out forward and one in the back and I had to assist with both 
I'm very thankful that I was here to catch this. But yeah, so Mama is licking, and this is a beautiful sign. This is something that you want to see. Oh. So she's licking them both. Um, another thing just blobbed, like a splash of water. I don't know if that means there's another baby or if the placentas are coming out. Um, placentas aren't delivered yet, so not done yet. It could just be placentas and these two beautiful babies. Oh goodness. They're both trying to get up to nurse, but they're not dried off yet, so we'll see how this goes. It's a little bit chilly. I'm going to have to go get the heat box out here for them. This little girl's trying to nurse already. Up here. Up here. Up here. Oh, not back in the muck. Oh, here, we're just gonna put you over here. Let mama do her thing. Let mama do her thing. Maybe mama will move out of her mucky spot and I can clean that up for you guys. So I'm just sitting here editing uh, this video and I realized I did not record me bringing them in the house to dry them off. Shortly after they were born, it was still a little bit chilly outside, so I just decided to err on the side of caution and I brought them in one at a time. I brought the doling in first because she was smaller and the buckling just seemed to be uh, perking up a little bit quicker. So I just decided I would bring her in and I brought her in, put her in the little warming box that I had ready for them. The same one that I had for Coco's babies. I had them on the plant heating mat and then I was blow drying them and towel drying them at the same time just to make sure that they got nice and dry. And then once she was dry, I brought her into the barn, gave her back to Millie and then I took the little buckling in the house and did the same with him. And once he was nice and dry, I brought the, him back out and then I gave both of them cayenne pepper and honey and apple cider vinegar. Um, like a tincture that I made a good friend of mine. She gave me that recipe and instructions to do that as soon as they were born. Those uh, those were not born necessarily. As soon as they got put back into the barn, I gave them that to kind of give them that boost of energy and heat them up from the inside too. So yeah, I just forgot to add that in there. Look how cute he is. Like look at his nice colors. Of course the boy is the cuter one. And then Charlotte move for a second. And that little girl is like Millie's twin again. <laughs> but she has floppier ears. Look because at her. Man, they're cute. 